can do. We'll go to John um, Hassel right now. And uh, John, it, who is the research and uh, agronomic development manager for Agritain International. John, let's quickly uh, give folks um, some more background on how volatilization works. Okay, let's just talk about loss in, uh, because there are several slides that are going to come up that look at different forms of loss. Uh, you farmers that are out there, if you're a no-till farmer or you surface apply your urea or urea containing fertilizer, you're going to have and be subject to loss if that nitrogen is not protected. When we put our surface um, urea, we have the opportunity to lose up to, I guess it's not really an opportunity, but you have losses up to 30 percent. That's kind of the average. And if we go to the next one, there's a second form of loss where we have a conversion from the ammonium form, as Greg was talking about, where the nitrogen is catch, kept more in the ammonium form. If it starts the transformation process and it, there are different nitrogen species out there, specifically nitrate, that nitrate can move away from the, the root zone. It can uh, be subject to leaching and not available to the plant. And uh, the next one actually shows the one on leaching. And then the last one, is where we use, um, if you remember the slide that Greg had on uh, looking at the product called Super Urea, that was a dual inhibitor product. It stops volatilization or minimizes volatilization, it reduces leaching, and it reduces the loss of nitrous oxide. So in a nutshell, we have different modes of action for loss, uh, three very important ones that affect the dealer's yield, and when using products to uh, control the loss of nitrogen, it just means more grain yield uh, for the farmer and more money in his pocket. John, uh, really quickly, everyone here, since we're at the uh, 2011 Commodity Classic, will understand why the significance of talking about using urea when it's obvious that there's losses. Why not just use ammonium nitrate? Really quickly, can you give some background to people that may be listening to RFD TV? Why doesn't everyone just use ammonium nitrate? Well, I think you go back to places like Oklahoma City back in the 90s when ammonium nitrate was used as a bomb. And we're seeing ammonium nitrate not being as much available as it was years ago. And plus, it's not as high a nitrogen content as urea is, and it's more expensive. So if you can get it, you're still paying a little bit more. It is a stable product, there's no doubt about it. but because of government regulations and the way it is regulated, urea or urea containing fertilizers are just a better source of fertilizer. Easy to use, cheap, easy to store, easy to handle. Well, we're going to go to a break. Uh, you're listening to AgriTame Live with RFD TV. Thank you for the live audience. We're going to get a chance um, after the next break to take questions from you in the crowd, and we would love to have those. And so join us after this break. When you apply nitrogen to your soil, on average, more than 30% is lost after application. 30% just literally disappears into thin air. So if you want healthier crops and bigger yields, the answer isn't applying more nitrogen. The answer is Agritain. Ask your dealer for Agritain or Agritain Plus. When you're missing nitrogen, you're missing a lot. On average, more than 30% of soil applied nitrogen simply disappears. Yet study after study shows that Agritain nitrogen stabilizers yield more. In 2008, 15 to 25 bushels per acre more in corn alone for just pennies per pound. Control nitrogen loss now with Agritain and get back what you're missing. Ask your retailer about Agritain or Agritain Plus.